realistically are old news by the time this comes so out. So these are team news. Well, do you know what? Honestly, I thought yeah. they're just things we haven't talked about. You know, like Great. Minar hey, and Norco. Li- massive. We didn't talk about it. We maybe touched on it in yeah. Rob's one. We did a spoiler alert a while ago because we kind of knew it was happening. Yeah. Some people picked up on. But, but anyway. Minar and Norco is massive and we haven't yeah, talked huge. about it. No, we haven't talked about it. What were it. your thoughts? Initially, it's like such a huge move. To, you know, he's been on our syndicate for, I think it was 12 years or something. Long time. Yeah. Um, we know he's a puzzler. We know he's really finicky about bike setup. And I guess we know that he, if he gets the tools to do what he wants to do, it could be quite still dangerous. win a World Cup. How crazy is it? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think he'll, it will, it will, I can't say it. Do you think he'll win one? Well, mate, I think you'd have to be absolutely batshit crazy to not, to think he couldn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then equally, it's anyone's game now, isn't it? This is like a different field. I feel like I don't, this year out of all of them, I don't know what to expect. Mm. This is like the most jumbled up. Which is great because we go through these stages through mountain biking, especially you have yeah, like, like the a, Gwyn a era, guy, yeah. the hill era. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've had a Loic one for a bit and like you, there are these people coming in that are obviously undeniable. Yeah. Stuff like this just mixes it up even more. And something about, something about how the kind of coverage has been, you know, I'm not hating on anything, but like it's been worse and it's like, it all feels like all of the news has been a bit more all over the place. That leaves me coming into the, like going into the season. You're a bit more like, I have no idea yeah. what's going to happen. It's quite like, yeah. I don't know. It's like we need these races coming up, these um, yeah. street races, hard line. We need these things crank to like works, crank to see work. Where people absolutely. Are at. What? How many races have we got before first World Cup? Uh, well, it's two. Is it's summer two series hard lines or crank works. Summer series crank works, which will have just gone of time of recording this okay so we get an idea of speed from then those we get Rotorua participants in march yeah the hard line taz hard will have gone taz. and in feb by the time this comes out and probably so no we'll doubt a bit other. of a clearer picture yeah yeah we will and there's also those like pre-season races that just become these yeah, pre-season true. world cup testing races yeah there was just so. one in new zealand wasn't there yeah uh, i didn't i don't actually have did, the I result brooke did that one good who's moved to forbidden forbidden there you go. Yeah. A good move again. That's on my list. Is it? Yeah, I promise. Interesting one, that, with Brooke on Forbidden, because, like, to play devil's advocate here with, not devil's advocate, but just to be honest about Brooke, like, he had a, not a great season last season. It's fair to say. I don't think he made finals. But... Yeah. I, I mean, that is absolutely mad, isn't it's it? It's mental, because it's, it's like, for okay, so put yourself in a brand shoes, Brooke McDonald... Is the man? It's yeah, Brooke. yeah, it's Brooke. It's, it's Red Bull helmet. Arguably Fast one of the fuck, most yeah. famous people in the field, but yet didn't make finals. Like, what do you do with that? This is kind of where the finals really blows. Really, let's be honest with you, because it might have been. I don't, I don't know, but maybe it was like thirty second. Didn't yeah, make I don't the TV have any time, this. so it's like I don't know what his best result was last year. To be honest, I mean, up until recently, man, we were hearing that he didn't even have a ride. So super stoked he's got on a forbidden with a teammate who is Blanky? No. Is that so? No, I no, haven't no, heard no, that. No, I no, no, heard that. no, no, it's not Blanky. It, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I can't remember. No, all good. He's on I, with someone else. I haven't heard. I'm I'm, I'm yeah. counting on you to announce things that I've missed off. Really? Because I've Don't. been head in the sand. Okay. We've got Valley on YT, back again on YT. That's quite cool, I think. That's a good one. I like I that. Think that. I like, I like the YT. return, actually. Yeah, I like Valley on a YT. Just a brand that I feel like suits her personality as well, and yeah, um, I think yeah, I think we'll probably see a breakout year for Valley. What are your feelings on on as as a, a fan of the sport yeah. looking in? Yeah, what are your feelings on like team moves, people on different bikes? Are you looking for someone to move and have improvement? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what does it do for you? I'm interested yeah. in this because, like, obviously, it's like a big part of why yeah. people get paid to ride bikes. Like, yeah. What does it do for a bike when, when you know it can win a World Cup? It's a great point, man. I think this is, it's a weird topic, this, because... Hmm. We've like, got does, Atherton does, bikes. Yeah, does it make year. me want to go and buy an Atherton bike? L- like... Is that what you mean? Just just like what effect it has. Like, what yeah. do, you, do you... Do you instantly think that's the fastest bike? Or do you think... 
Okay. Th- this is what okay. I think. I think, right, well, if a bike wins a World Cup, it's capable of winning a World Cup, which is important information. Yeah. You know that it can yeah. be can be Especially ridden the fastest the bikes in the world. Especially are ridden at a World Cup level are not a million miles away from the bike that you'll go and buy off a showroom yeah. floor. Like it's That's pretty cool. cool, our sport in that respect. Yeah, yeah. It is, isn't it? Because yeah. you can buy the bike you'll buy that the bike. wins a World Cup. You go buy an Afton bike, like you said, that will That's win a rad. World Cup. Yeah, so Afton bike. Uh, uh, Afton bike's a great example because it's like a family-owned and run company mm. and it won world champs, multiple World Cup races. yeah. If you imagine, if it was your bike company, imagine that happening. It's insane. And it must have an impact. Yeah, it must do. It must. I'd love to know, yeah. But I'd love to. we know downhill bikes don't sell like enduro bikes sell. No, but... So where is the impact? Well, is it, yeah, is it well, seen I mean... Across the brand as a whole, or is it seen on like, oh my God, all of a sudden we've sold out of Atherton downhill bikes? Yeah. Because who's buying it? I find that interesting. I'd love to hear what our, what like listeners think of it, honestly. Because I, I know it sounds like a dumb question, but when you actually think about it, it's like, all right. So I like, know what a racer will say. I know I, I know what a racer will say. I want to hear what like a like a regular rider yeah. will say. A racer obviously want all they want is if there's a bike that gets won the most, you're just going to want that bike. I understand that you want to go fastest, you want to be the quickest. Yeah, you want the quickest bike. Yeah, like not everyone is like that. No, it's very true. Yeah, for me, I'm not sure what it does for me. I'm not sure it does a great deal. I feel more that what interests me is like you've, these people fit on teams. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's more like I'm thinking, you know, think of an example this year. Greg on Norco is a tough one because we don't really know much about know, yeah, that yeah. or anything. But almost like when Jackson went syndicate. Yeah. You're like, that works. That it's, the fits. Hu- it's the human embodiment of a brand. That's yeah. what it is. So yeah. that's what you want from a team, basically. Isn't it? It's like where could like Loic? Where would Loic fit now on a team? Yeah, he's quite. I'd say he's more of a bigger brand corporate rider. So he'd go if he was to move Trek or yep. Does that make I sense? understand exactly what you mean. It is literally that. It's that human embodiment, and it's yeah. almost like that is as important as the results as it well. Is for me, as a fan, yeah, I I agree. Yeah, I agree. When you think of certain riders, and you think about like. Just they just represent exactly the values of that brand. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. What would happen? What an episode! You did really well. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. Do you know what? Finish it off. But if you could put some sort of link over my face, yeah, I can do that. I could put a right? video up on Ollie's face of an episode we think you'll love. Is it on now? There is a subscribe button here on this chair, and on my face, another video we think you'll love. Thank you. We appreciate you. There's nothing in the chair now. Subscribe.